What's going on everybody? Joe Galino here, Whiskey Network Magazine from Whiskey Bourbon Scotch Enthusiast. Also Joey G, your cigar man from uh, the Great Cigar and Pipe Show. We're at Whiskey Fest, Chicago, 2023 at the Hyatt. There's a lot going on here. Follow me around here for a minute. We're gonna go to a couple different tables. We'll do a quick little walk around general and then we'll stop we'll stop somewhere interesting. <laughs> okay, this this is an amazing Irish whiskey that I just discovered today. And don't tell anybody, but it beat Red Breast 12. <laughs> which is the busker it's the single pot still i'm gonna pour myself a little bit because we're trying live let's see what we got mm. big bold zesty lemon it's very creamy it's very oily long finish it's aged only four years it's 44 percent abv Delicious young whiskey. And how long have you guys been around? Only four years. So this is like your so this is like your flagship expression here. We're the only we're the only Irish distillery to have four variations. This is my girl Tony. Hello. What was your name? Tamika. Tamika, Joe. Andrew. Andrew. Delilah. Delilah. You got to go to Delilah's after this. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Have you ever been? You got to go to Delilah's. It's the best whiskey bar in Chicago. Agreed. Yes. Oh, let them know where you're your executive chef at. At Astro Club. Executive chef Astro Club. <laughs> Make sure you get there. There you go. All right. What's your specialty? Italian. Of course. <laughs> of course. Thank, Thank you guys. Thank you. <laughs> My guy Joe here. I'm doing a little video. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, this is my whiskey guy from uh, from Binnie's. No longer works at Binnie's, unfortunately, but super knowledgeable. Love him. Let's. What are we going to taste next? Um, you need to try the Gordon McPhail Del Ewan. Let's go. Gordon Take us there. Show me. Sherry, Sherry Cast Corilla. Thank you, guys. Do you want a little bit of smoke first, or do you want to go just straight fruit? Just straight fruit. I'll wind up Del, with Del some Ewan. of this. Yeah. Okay. So what are we doing now? We're doing uh, De so it's a it's a Gordon and McPhail expression. Gordon and McPhail tell you. Okay. Uh, super cool fact about Gordon and McPhail is that they actually have a little bit of their own microclimate uh, at their warehouse. Okay. So all the casks that they're aging just can go on for years and years and years and never pick up that like, kind of like sulfur, mustiness, okay. just kind of like the yeah, note that you get from an overly aged scotch. Okay. Um, so yeah, the Dal Yuan, gorgeous. The Corilla, just imagine autumn leaves yes. while sipping just a beautiful sherry scotch. Mm. Mm. Let's see if we can get up there closer to getting a dram. I feel like I'm super. <laughs> Hi, we're, we're doing a we're doing a video for Whiskey Network magazine. What should we try here? I recommended the Dal Yuan and I go to the Coley. Yeah, Richard, because he's the owner. Oh, this guy's okay. the owner, and okay. he will tell you everything you need to know about everything. But this guy, the this nausea. guy's got a lot of knowledge as well. Okay. There's got to be. A, I will, I will what do you recommend? Run. There's got to be one whiskey you recommend. Oh, yeah, there's a Kalila. Okay, yeah, you were telling me. Where's the Kalila? There it is. Show that to the camera. So this, this is a Kalila. 
But the clean enough typically is even off. But we've aged this one totally in a sherry cask. So the blend between the Kalila and the sherry is phenomenal. This okay. is something you should be trying. All right. Try it? Yes, sir. Now this, this is cast strength, so it's not for the faint hearted or weak need, Absolutely. or if you're English. I think we can handle it at Whiskey Network. That's good, that's good. Woo. Cheers. <laughs> Definitely like sweet, candy-like. I know. On the nose. I know. Barely any peats. Well, Kalila is not known for big peats, but you know. There's a little bit. Yeah. It's there in the background. Mmm. Mmm. Take your time. Very metallic and sweet up front. Then there's the peat. A lot of peat on the finish. Yeah. So the balance between the peat yes, and the Yes, yes. The shaddy. It's, it's, Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely delicious. Thank you, sir. You are more than All right. What's next, Joe? What do you also you recommend? Oh, Lord. Have you been back to the mixer stable yet? No. I have not been to the Nectar Sable, but I, that that uh that Australian whiskey, I don't think he's there. he's there right now. Well, let's go back over there. Uh, there's one guy by the this Australian whiskey. Come on. So this is another brand that I discovered. Morris Australian whiskey. And this bottle here is the the VIP bottle. This this is probably my favorite whiskey of the night. Mm. It has great it has great flavor of smoked tobacco, uh, pipe tobacco, big pipe tobacco. If you're a pipe tobacco smoker, this is the dram for you. All right, let's end this one. We'll start a, we'll start a new one. We're going to find out about this. Ben Howland. Uh, it's okay if I pour a little bit here? All right. It's for, it's for Whiskey Network magazine. No. Where's Mike? I have no idea. Right there. Have you guys heard the story? No. What is the story? We got to get in here. You guys are going to love it. So, oldest distillery west of the Mississippi. Okay. Been there since 1856. Okay. Uh, Lewis and Clark chartered our seven limestone natural springs all the way back in 1804. All right. Uh, with that, you add in one more big piece. You look at the front of this guy, you'll see our old ironclad rickhouses. So we got two of those guys on site, built in 1933 and 1950. Um, that's truly, in my opinion, what makes great bourbon. You talk to right. Kyle, our master distiller, that's 60% of that magic. Uh, but you start adding those things up, and uh, you got some great bourbon here. We just are releasing this weeded, so that guy, it's going to have our traditional mash bill, 73% corn, 15% rye, 12% malted barley. You take out that rye, add in 15% wheat. Already on the uh, already on the nose, I'm getting a lot of balance. Yeah, it right. is definitely. Right? Right, on the, on the, right on the nose, a lot of balance. A lot of balance on the nose. I got a beautiful surprise for you guys after that guy. You got to try. So this is our Rickhouse proof. Um, that's actually going to be our barrel proof. Um, one cool thing that we didn't even talk about yet. So these Rickhouses that we have, they're very old. So we don't rotate our barrels at all. Um, they sit in their life wherever we place them, six, seven plus years. And so with that, what we're going to do is uh, Kyle's going to come through and you'll see the percentage on the side. Uh, that's this is the one we tried first, right? Yep. Uh -huh. That's the Great balance even on the palate. A lot of uh, like buttery sweetness. Yeah, um, dessert as Great balance between the buttery sweetness and the oak. Yep. That's what I'm getting. That's Yes, yeah. yes. Um, so we're new to this brand, so we're just figuring it out right now. Um, very, very good. I'm going to try my... I'm going to finish that. I'm going to come back to this. What is this? What is this? So this is our Rick House proof. So that's the weeded. Um, and with that, 
that'll be, let's say, 100 barrels. Um, and you can see on the side the percentages that we use. And so let's say that was 100 barrels, you'd have 18 barrels from the first floor, 14 from the second, 52 from the fourth, and then 16 from our sixth. Now, before we drop that down to bottled and bond, 100 proof, when we add in that RO water, this is going to be straight from the barrel. All right, let's pour that and see yeah. what we got. That's good. All right. Let's see what we got here, Joey. Yeah. And I assume you're using full size barrels. For <laughs> okay. So it's on the on the nose. You're still getting that balance, but everything is like ramped up, right? Because of that cast strength. Yeah. It is the uh, you know those parts per million we call it. Um, when you add water, it's going to knock those parts per million down. When you go straight from the barrel, you get everything in there. Obviously, there's going to be a little more ethanol, a little more burn, but uh, you get a lot more flavor as well when you can handle that in the palate. Not a whole lot of burn. It's nice balance yeah. still on the cast strength. And here's There's still more, flavor. still more balance on the cast strength. Okay, this is a, this is a sleeper. Yeah. This is maybe. definitely a sleeper. I don't know if I want to tell the people about this. Right? Yeah. Like, I just want to put myself. Are we at Benny's? You know, we're not yet. So we are just now coming into the Chicago market. Okay. So you can uh, start to find our traditional mash bill, the Ben Holiday, 73% corn, 15% rye, 12% malted barley. Um, that guy, uh, he's coming. He'll be around more often. This one, you're talking a couple months down the road for our weeded. Okay. Um, and then hopefully by the end of the year, you'll see our rickhouse proof. All right. This is, okay. When it, So when it comes to... A weeded, and this is considered a straight bourbon. When it comes to a weeded bourbon, ladies and gentlemen, this is my effing jam. This is good. Mainly because of the balance. Even in the cast strength version of it, you're getting a lot of that, like, right? That oaky, buttery. This beautiful, sweet cream. Yeah, sweet, creamy, buttery. And that nice little. It's like a slight punch yeah, on the finish. Just enough white pepper. It's just enough there. It's just, just enough there. Nothing people, overwhelming. People always ask me, and I'm like, people have memories to go with bourbon, I feel like, or really any spirit that you're drinking. Uh, for me, this bourbon, I always, when you go to the nose on it, it always reminds me of, I think about when I go into my uh, grandmother's house and she was baking. Mm -hmm. um, it's just like all those different notes mm -hmm. when you go from caramel, butterscotch, to vanilla. Um, it just, it really... And you like you like you wake up on Thanksgiving morning and she's already baking those pies. Exactly. Right. right. Yeah. And most people At like 6 a.m. Right? Fruit, you would think that's like 110, 109. It's actually a digital one, so you got to see right. it. You just tap it on your phone. Sounds so good. I need it back because I can't give it to you. But you just tap it on that phone, uh, and it'll stay in there. All right, we're going to wrap up this video with Ben Holiday Missouri Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Their cast strength is my effing jam. If you get a chance, give them a go. I'd highly recommend them. And your name? Matt Jacquino with Holiday Distillery. He sounds like a celebrity already. <laughs> I'll take that. You're a celebrity. I've been talking all day, so my throat's a little rusty. But... All right, Joe, nice pleasure, to meet guys. you. Seriously. All right, that's a wrap. Well, we're going to cut it from here, and we're going to get more information from Mr. Holiday here. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> and I am here with William. What's your last name? William Thornton. And William? Reeves. William Reeves, and you are from Baltimore, Maryland. He's actually from Baltimore, so we got a local, we got an out of stater, so this is perfect. So we're here at Whiskey Fest. We got a lot of vendors, we got a lot of whiskey vendors, a lot of delicious whiskeys going on here. Yes. Well, is this your first time at Whiskey Fest? Second time. Second time. This is this is my second time too. First this time? is my first time. Here. First time at Whiskey Fest. Yes. All right. So as a first timer, what is your overall? Experience here at Whiskey Fest, you, you, you approve, would you recommend it? I actually, I actually recommend it. There's a lot of vendors here, a lot of different whiskeys to sample. So it's not overwhelming, but I like it. I will be back next year. And locally as a second time participant, what do you think of this year compared to last year? Um, a little bit smaller than last year. Okay. 
however, the, the, the environment, the camaraderie with the vendors, the, the chance to talk to everybody, okay. I think it's, a, it's outstanding. Yes, right? yes. Very informational. Yes. Very informational. Your favorite whiskey tonight? <laughs> so far, I, I like the Uncle Nearest. Uncle, Uncle Nearest. Nearest is my favorite. Yes. Great. Okay. Uncle Nearest is a great backstory to it. Um, that was the original uh, recipe for Jack Daniels. Yes. Okay. Developed by a slave. Yes. Okay. Nearest so slave. this is that is American history in a bottle. Absolutely. Okay. And me personally, Uncle Nearest is my effing jam. When it comes to a bourbon, I mean, you want especially especially that cash drink bottle. Yeah. Yes. You you want to sip something that's gonna knock you on your ass. Yeah. You go right to Uncle Nearest. Yes. Your favorite bottle tonight? Uh, I like I like the Widow Jane. Widow Jane uh, out of New York, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why do you like Widow Jane so much? The, the multiple layers, the different different palettes, different tastes. I thought that the tenure and the decadent okay. were real real nice. Okay. Yeah, the anniversary bottle is excellent. Okay. All right. You heard it from the best of the best here in Chicago at Whiskey Fest 2023. This is Joe Galino signing out. Thank you guys for your participation. Thank you. Um, these guys are obviously enjoying themselves. We got about less than an hour left, so we're going to go slam more whiskey. Yes, absolutely. All right, guys. Yes, sir. Cheers. You have a good one. All yes. right. Cheers. Thanks, guys. I'll tell you.